Hi, I'm going to go through all the options of our sliding boxes widget. So the thing is that here in our, our demo, I've placed three of these widgets. So I'm going to display the options. So let's first we find textiles. Okay, so here we're going to change the main title color. You can choose the size or the padding. You can even choose the, the font that you want. Same as the description. And remember, there are two layers here, okay? The main layer and then the overlay. So same thing with the title and the description of, of, of both. And you can also place with the size and with the padding. Okay, so now let's go to the settings. And here is the icon and the icon padding. And here's where you upload both images, the, like the main image and the overlay image. So this doesn't mean that you have to always use the description or title or in, in, in both layers, okay? Because here you have the option to choose if you want to show the main image or the title, the description. So you can play with a yes, no. And you, obviously, you don't, if you don't want the icon, you don't need to, to, to show it. So here... You can change it as much as you want, and then you can you can see what other results you can get. And this part here is a design mode only, force overlay layer. This is very important. So this is so you can see the overlay layer here in Adobe Muse. But if you click, it has to be a no. No, sorry. Now you're seeing the main image. But if you click yes, so that means we're going to force the overlay layer. We'll see now the overlay layer. Okay, exactly. So because I I written illustration and I included um an arrow. So if you want to preview this, you have to click on no or else it won't preview. Okay, so if you're wondering why um your sliding boxes are not previewing and they're not moving, there's not no effect there. This is this is the reason why. So this is just just so you can see the 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 overlay while you're designing. So let's move on and go to the backgrounds. So if you don't want to choose, if you don't want to show um, a picture in both in both layers, you can choose to just have a, a plain background. Like in my case, the overlay has this background color. So, and then here in text content, here's where you write the um, the main title and the main text. And here is is where you write the icon. Remember, this is from Font Awesome. If you don't know how to to include Font Awesome, or you don't know the Font Awesome code, you can go to the fontawesome.com and then you can find it there. And here's overlay text. And if you include an icon, you can also include a link. So this is where you 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 write it. Okay. So I'm gonna preview this so you can see how it works. So we have the demo here. So this is what happens. So you hover over it and I get the illustration and then you see how it activates, the arrow activates when I have it, when I when I'm on top of it. That's because I've included the uh, a link, it's a link to our website. And so if you see another options, you see you can include both, you can include the um a plain background with with a photo and some text or you can do it with an icon. So these are the different options you have. You can have a 100 more. So just just design and create. Thank you very much for watching.